Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Baltimore for the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic where California, Pennsylvania is blanking Bowie State 28 to nothing. This is Tom Davis together with the former NFL great running back Joe Washington with us. And Joe, give us some of your observations of the uh, first half play as we take a look at the uh, first half stats. The leading rushers, rushing team happens to be Bowie State with 104 yards, passing yards. So there's a big deficiency there. Only one completion so far for the Bowie State Bulldogs. Well, yeah, you know, I, I'd have to say, really, it's a little deceiving by the mere fact that uh, in the first quarter, even though the Vulcans had about, what, 14 points, they didn't have, really have a lot of yardage. They really didn't get that yardage until late in the second quarter where they were throwing the football and finally receiving possession of the football around uh, the 35 or 40-yard line. Poor but, Joe, that was a big key, you know, where, where it was the possession, uh, where they took possession. Uh, from the standpoint of California, Pennsylvania, where they grabbed the football and then went in. Look at those drives, 18, 38, 5, and 36-yard drives. And the only time, that, you know, as you can see, the only time they were in their own areas when they had, you know, started from the 36-yard line, then they got a big uh, pass play out of Alfred and Mannery. But, you know, boy, they've always started with their 5, their own 30. They only started in, in uh, uh, Cal's area on the 25-yard uh, line, and then they fumbled. So, you know, it's been a, been a question of where they've started with the football. They've been able to move the football at times, but they fumble, and penalties have really stopped their offense. Penalties, uh, 8 for 80 yards for Bowie State, 3 for 25 yards for uh, California, Pennsylvania. And uh, with us now is uh, Bob Leffler joining us, Joe. Bob, of course, a big ad man here with the Leffler Advertising Agency in Baltimore. And connected with the Cleveland Browns and their advertising. Come on up here so we can get you on camera, Bob. Uh, we'll go around the pole there next to Joe. <laughs> All those poles in this ballpark. <laughs> the obstructed view. Huh? Uh, you got to come this way. Too many obstructed view seats right in this old place. You uh, helped uh, organize things here for Jim uh, Heinemann. Well, you know, the thing that's, that's uh, neat about what Jim Heinemann and D the Jiffy Lube folks have done, win, lose, or draw. I mean, these kids played in this big ballpark, the experience of it all, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, they've got a, a booster to the program that, that, you know, a lot of people talk about promotion in sports, but here's a guy and, and an organization, the Jiffy Lube people, that put their money where their mouth is, and it, it's, it's impressive. And, you know, the more football played in this stadium, the better. I think that's the, that's the way they were looking at it. And, and Lou Grasmick from the park board got involved in it. They just all did a tremendous job putting on the game. As we get ready to start this second half with the Cal, Pennsylvania leading 28 to nothing. And the return here by Anthony Johnson out over the 25-yard uh, line. and finds running room out to the 30, to the 35, and down to the 40-yard line where... Michael Schrenker makes the hit for California, Pennsylvania. It's a return of 32 yards and a first down for Bowie State as they have possession here to start the uh, second half, and we'll take a look at it once more. Well, he makes a fine run. He should, in all you know, due respect, be stopped at that particular point. But this is a good start for Bowie State. They're starting out around their own 39-yard line, which is something they didn't have a chance to do uh, except for one time in the uh, first, first half. So hopefully they can get something going. First and 10 from the 39-yard line with uh, Clarence Boykins being replaced at quarterback by Henry Frazier to start the uh, second half. And his handoff there didn't go too far. He was stopped by Eric Smith, 76, and a fumble and uh, another turnover. Well, this is really unfortunate for them. They had real good field position. And Coach, and Coach Doach has been upset about the way their offensive line has been playing. As you can see, the center gets stuffed right off the bat. And he's talked to his lineman about being able to push these people back. They hadn't done it yet. And, of course, with the offense, the defensive line whipping Bowie State offensive line, you get a fumble. Greg May with the recovery. First and 10 for California, Pennsylvania from the 40-yard line of Bowie State. 28 to nothing lead for Cal, Pennsylvania as they start their first possession here in the uh, second half. And Sam Mannery took a short drop, and he was dropped. Good coverage there by the Bowie State defensive line. All right, let's play ball now. Let's Lou just play ball. Papa Aracek was there to make the stop. But this is what they've got to do to, uh, I think, Cal. You know, blitz their quarterback, keep him from setting up and throwing the ball to the wide receivers because their wide receivers have been hurting them because of the single coverage Boy State's been providing. Boy State with three sacks for 30 yards. Again with Bob Leffler here from the Leffler Advertising Agency. Bob, you mentioned uh, about this stadium being active. Do you think the football Cardinals are going to move here? Well, you know, Mannery goes down again at the 45. 
tackle credit to uh, Gunter of uh, Bowie State. I think there's as good a chance as any, mainly because it's a great traditional NFL city. Uh, win, lose, or draw. A lot of these other towns that are, are uh, the Sun Belt cities are, are, are favorable. But uh, this is a great NFL city, always has been. I think Bidwell's a traditionalist, and I think that would help all of our. And you see Mannery going down. Third time, 25 yards in losses there. You're connected to the Cleveland Browns and some of their advertising campaigns. Uh, what's the word in Cleveland? Do they think the Cardinals are going to move and to Baltimore? I think the word... Wait till this plays over here. Incomplete, intended for Brian Greer with coverage from Anthony Johnson of Bowie State. I think the word is generally around the league that he just, Bidwell just seems to be interested in doing something. I, I, I think that it's unfortunate that it came down during the season. It hurts his home crowd. But, uh, you know, it, it's it's his business, and, and the owners look upon him as businesses. And, and I think Mr. Bidwell is trying to go through channels, and I think that's looked favorably generally around the league as far as that goes. All right, a punting situation here for California, Pennsylvania. Boy State hoping to get their hands on the football once again. Fair catch by uh, Johnny, and it's made at the 22-yard line. And Boy State puts the ball in play once again on a 33-yard punt. Bob, as they change possessions here, Let's go you know, one. do you think there's any Let's other city that really qualifies other than sweep. Baltimore out of the ones that are mentioned for the possible move of the Cardinals? Well, they qualify market-wise. There's no question. Those markets are all active. Uh, the point is that does this man want to go to a place that uh, that hasn't had football uh, in terms of and had traditional great NFL football? He's a different kind of guy than Ursay was. He's a, he's really he, 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 St. Louis hadn't had football when he moved him in 1960, but he's a traditionalist. I think that's the most important thing. The handoff to Phil Dyer, who tries to get outside from the 21-yard uh, line. He advances the ball out near the 25. Again, a new quarterback on field for Blue State and Henry okay, Frazier. You're running the corner. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for stopping by here. We've really enjoyed it, and uh, we'll be seeing you throughout the uh, week in the Baltimore area, and a nice job here with the Jiffy Loop class. Well, certainly, uh, I certainly appreciate it, and I think that uh, Jim Heineman and all the good folks at Jiffy Loop, Don Simon and Lisa Boone and all the people who helped put this together have done a fine job, and I hope this is the first of many. Thanks a lot, Tom. All right, Bob Leffler from the Leffler Advertising Agency. Thanks for being with us here on Home Team Sports. Second down seven for Bowie State. The pass complete to Atwater, and Atwater has a first down beyond the 40, still on his feet to midfield, and crosses over to California, Pennsylvania territory, where Sam Kowalski makes the tackle. Okay. Well, well, Tom, they had a penalty on that play. You know, I don't know who it was from, who it was on, but I tell you what, if it is against Cal, that's a big boost for Bowie State. Defense. And it is. Move it back in. 124 guard trap. Tell Marcus to get down on him. 30 yard gain on this pass, reception, and run. Well, he inserted Henry Frazier in hopes that, you know, what, because they'll have to pass the ball a little bit, and they do here. Atwater catches the ball, makes a great run here, good balance, and they're on, oh, they're on the Cal's uh, own field position now, so that's a big play for him. Frazier at quarterback, uh, barking the signals and resetting. Phil Dyer in that backfield of Bowie State on a first and 10 from the 46-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. Atwater takes the handoff, and this time Atwater is lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Probably a yard shy, bringing up second and 11 from the 47-yard line as Mike Smith of okay. Cal, Pennsylvania made the tackle. Let's go three. All right, let's go 739 toss. 739 sweep. But Bowie has really had much success running the football up the middle against the Cal team, truck. except on the, uh, on the uh, draw play. So truck Robinson. they're consent, but, you know, consented going uh, on the ends, and this is what this play will be, a sweep. Tony Harrison ends split to this side of the field, out of the eye formation. Henry Frazier in at quarterback now, replacing Clarence Boykins in the pitch. is knocked down and recovered by 34, Miles Gray. And again, he's shy of the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's brought down near midfield by John Hay, who has been a very big factor in that defense of California, Pennsylvania, making many tackles today. Well, he's been all up and down the line of scrimmage. He's controlling the line of scrimmage, and that's the problem with uh, Boy State's offensive line. They hadn't been able to do anything with this guy. This guy's been in Boy State's backfield the whole time. 
see Mo Banks heading wide to the far side of the field. That's number eight. Third and 11 key situation here for Bowie State. They're trailing by four touchdowns early in the third quarter. 28 to nothing favorite Cal, Pennsylvania. Motion from Phil Dyer. Frazier. Pass is complete. Miles Gray with it. And he's taken all the way down to the 30-yard line where Mike Gresham makes the tackle. Now, let's go. Let's go trip right. 986. First down for Bowie State. Well, Henry, he makes an excellent athletic play here. He's, he's trapped behind the line of scrimmage, and he still gets the ball down the field. And, boy, he makes a good catch and a good run. They really needed this first down conversion here. They kept a drive going. They seem to be on the road to getting something good going on here. So that was a big play. 14-yard gain by Gray on that reception and run. First down, 10 for Bowie State. Miles Gray stopped at the 35-yard line for a loss of three. Bring up second down, 13. Tom Kowalski making the tackle for Cal Pennsylvania. Well, Tom, this is, you know, uh, they, every time they make a big play, it's been on the edges with a pass or a sweep or the option play. And each and every time they've tried to run the ball, you know, between the tackles, they've been thrown for a loss. And that's really tough to do you know, be thrown for a loss when you're running straight ahead plays in, uh, in between the tackles. So their offensive line isn't doing a good job at all in between the tackles. Second and 13, Bowie State at the 35-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. Frazier bootlegging, 35, 30, and pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Joe, when you get into a game like this, 28 to nothing trailing, how do you keep your incentive? Well, the mere fact, well, I think these guys realize, you know, each and every time uh, Cal has scored, it's been off of a turnover on a punt. It hasn't been like they've, uh, you know, just driven the ball down the field consistently on them because they haven't done that. And Bowie State has stopped their offense by penalties and fumbling the football. So if you, can, if you even though the game is, uh, you know, is of uh, penalties and turnovers, if they can just cut some of them down, you know, they'll be in good shape. Joe, you weren't big on black shoes when you were a player, were you? Only if the other team, if my other teammates were wearing white. <laughs> Third and six for uh, Bowie State from the 28-yard line of California, Pennsylvania. Frazier hands off on a nice uh, try there by Tony Harrison, who couldn't get a block and couldn't get beyond the 30-yard line. So it's a, a loss of two on the play. Fourth down and eight. Odell Jones, 96, smelled it out. Penalty marker, though, down at the 30-yard line. Against Boy State. Well, that's another holding penalty against him. And, and it's at, up at the top of the screen, you know, where the reverse is being run by number, what, 46 or 48? Yeah, number 46, you can see him take the uh, defender down by holding him, so that's what's killed Bowie State all day. You had holding on the offense, replay third down. But really, the only good thing about that, they will get the third down over again because, of course, if they'd have declined it, they wouldn't have, uh, it would have been fourth down, so at least they do get a chance to go after it again on third down. Knowing that uh, Bowie State is not a good passing club and trailing by four touchdowns, that definitely has to hurt. Well, it does, and because of that, that is one of the reasons they hadn't been able to run the ball in, inside the tackle. They can't control their uh, the defensive team of Cal because they know they're going to uh, run the football most of the time. Frazier at midfield trying to find running room and just throws the ball up for grabs. It was near his receiver, 34 miles gray, but... Odell Jones was really just stopping Frazier to the point where he was hemmed in and couldn't move. And they will punt now. Bowie State will be playing the football. Well, we're getting up to that situation again, which is causing him a lot of problems. And I know Coach Dolch is holding his breath each and every time their punter drops back to punt the football. And this is one of the, oh, my goodness, almost blocked. And gee, if the uh, punter would have fallen down that particular time, we probably could have gotten a... Uh, Rough in the kicker, but he's concentrating on trying to get the ball off and not worried about his acting ability. So Cal Pennsylvania has the football at the 15-yard line now. 8.31 left to play, third quarter. First annual Jiffy Lube Classic, and here's the punt again. All he had to do on this particular play is just 
fall over. But he's so excited about finally getting the punt off, and with good distance, he just totally forgets about all of that. But I can understand it. Sam Mannery is quarterback, and the pitch goes to 34. Ken Pauling sweeping the far side of the field and gets out near the 19-yard line. It's a gain of four. Rodney Belfield of Bowie State on the tackle. Number 10, Rodney Belfield. It's a gain of four. The play bringing up second and six from the 19-yard line for the Vulcans. Second down and six. Well, I'll tell you, Dinsmore made an excellent block on that particular play which, you know, sprung the, uh, the ball carry outside for that game. Second and six from the 19. Vulcans with a football and a 28 to nothing lead with 7.52 left to play and whistles blowing. 7.52 left to play third period. Well, this looks to be one of the few times Cal has been penalized. And each time they've been penalized, they've been really just five-yard penalties. So. This is one of the few that? times that I'm sure Boy State welcomes this. Four penalties for 30 yards for the foul pen. You got the list here. Don't you? Tucker's his backup. Let's go, G, let's go! Right. Bowie's been penalized 11 times for 105 yards. Ball spotted at the 14-yard line, second and 10. Eddie Egerton, who scored a touchdown earlier, takes the ball out to the 15-yard line. Devron Blount making the tackle. Ball marked at the 15. It's a gain of a yard, third and nine from the 15-yard line. Well, if I were, you know, recall correctly, Cal has yet to convert on third down. Has yet to do it, so we'll see if they do this time, but they have yet to convert on third down. Eight tries have had it third down, and they have failed on all eight. And Mannery gets the ball away, and it's complete out to the 28-yard line to Brian Greer. That's good enough for a first down. Anthony Johnson on the coverage, 13-yard gain, and a first down off of a third down for the first time for California, Pennsylvania. So now they've done everything right so far. Gain is to the 28-yard line, first down and 10. off the field 33 Eddie Egerton backfield now for Cal Pennsylvania has Sean Densmore in it coming wide to the near side is Ed Alford wide to the far side is Brian Greer 24 on a first and 10 from the 29 Mannery pitches to 34 Ken Polling and Polling can't get back to the 30 yard line just took it to about the line of scrimmage where Rodney Belfield made the hit for Bowie State Call it no game. Second and ten. Well, they defense the option real well that time. Uh, each man, uh, I guess what you'd call, say, uh, had his assignment, and he performed real well to where they only gave the guy a, a foot as far as the game is concerned. Second and ten from the 28-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. They have a 28 to nothing lead with 6:14 left to play in the uh, third quarter. Catch by Ed Alford. First down for Cal Pennsylvania at the 45 yard line of Bowie State. Excellent catch by Ed Alford. 28 yard gain in Alford's third long reception of the day. And here it is. Well, he keeps his eyes on the football. And, and the thing about it, he, he doesn't make contact. He bobbles it. And that's great concentration. You can't find a receiver, I think, anywhere any better than that, especially on that particular play. I thought a big key there was, was Alfred knew where the ball was, and Johnson did not. He actually overran the ball. That's right. He never got, no one gave him a call is that the ball was in the air, and he didn't read Alfred's eyes. Densmore on the sweep, crosses the 40, gets down to about the 38-yard line. Big pickup on first down there is Rodney Belfield made the hit for Bowie State. Ball marked at the 38-yard line. Yeah, that was a pretty good lick. I, and I'm sure Densmore got what you call probably a little thigh bruise on that particular play from the blow. And he goes out for a little bit, so he'll be back. But that, that's something that bothers you right away. But as long as it doesn't get cold, you can come back and run on it. Give me a second down and three from the 38. Second down and four. 
straight ahead for Eddie Egerton. Down to the 35-yard line, maybe to the 34. Penalty marker at the 38-yard line. It's against Cal, Pennsylvania. The team really has been plagued by penalties. Well, he's gotten them for, gotten their offensive line for holding at this particular time, and they really hadn't done really any of that so all it's day. It's going to be uh, second and 13, Coach. Sixteen penalties in the game. Eleven for Bowie State, five for Cal. And usually when Lyman in the hole is the mere fact it could be late in the game because they're a little tired and they're constantly getting beat. Or they are normally hold if they're just, just, just playing against a guy who's a little bit better than they are at this particular time and they can't do anything but hold them. Joe Washington Bowie has been penalized 105 yards. Cal has been penalized 40 yards off those combined 16 penalties. So it seems like both teams have been backing up quite a bit today. Second and 14, Mannery with time, runs away from the rush and throws and completes the pass to Brian Greer inside the 40-yard line to the 38. So it's a gain of 10. It'll bring up third and third four. Third and four, coach. They're putting pressure on Mannery. Uh, and I'd say one out of every the uh, two times they put pressure on him, he's still standing back there running around a little bit and finding his receivers. He has such a good arm that he can still throw the football and his receivers are coming back to him. So that, that's been uh, cutting down on his interception. Third and four Greer wide to the far side of the field. Ed Alford wide to the near side. And Sam Mannery throwing and it's almost intercepted. It was intended for Ed Alford. The angle on the football by Rodney Belfield. He had the it. angle and almost was able to pick it off. Well, that would have been now a big play for left. Him. It really would have been. Come on, let's get it. Fourth and four. For Cal, Pennsylvania, ready to punt the football. Don Janey, 31, along with Tim Siles back deep. Janey makes a catch with one knee on the ground. And Bowie State will have possession at the 11-yard line after the 29-yard punt. One. Okay, oh, let's go five. Okay, five, 19, quick screen. Well, this quick screen would probably be to one of the receivers. And, and I've said a little earlier, you know, all day they've had basically their success going outside and throwing the ball outside when they've been able to complete passes. So this should be their game plan. Quick screen to probably number eight. Give him a little chance to run with the football. 28 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania leading this game with 3.54 left to play third quarter. All the scoring in the uh, first half. First down for Bowie State at the 11-yard line. Penalty marker is dropped. 17th penalty of the game. A wiggle procedure. Line of scrimmage is going to be the six-yard line. Illegal procedure. Offense. Replay first down. First and 15 now. And Bowie State has to break their huddle from the closed end of Memorial Stadium. Well, this will still be a good play to run because number 37 is giving Mo Banks a little running room. So we'll drive off and come back and make sure throw the ball to him. Frazier with a pass completion to Mo Banks. Banks out to the 15. Still on his feet to the 21-yard line is Mo Banks. 17-yard gain. Okay. 76 at the bottom of the pile there. Eric Smith for Cal, Pennsylvania. Makes a running play and throws the ball outside. Number 32 gets out there and does a pretty good job of blocking. Banks does a good job of running. He almost slips on the loose turf down there, but that's enough for a first down. 17-yard gain, first down for Bowie State at the 21-yard line. Three of four for Henry Frazier for 61 yards. Hey, 
John Nabinet with the uh, football, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage and then driven back a little bit there as Tom Kowalski okay, made the go. tackle for uh, One, California. 38 counter crisscross. Tell him hold that ball. Two coming down to the three-minute mark in the third period. Cal Pennsylvania leading 28 to nothing. All the scoring again in the first half. Second down, eight. Ball spotted at the 24-yard line of uh, Bowie State. On the uh, reverse to Miles Gray, out past the 30 to the 34-yard line. Good enough for a first down. Bruce Miller. Making the stop. Okay, let's go uh, 141 option load. Let's make it work. Well, they ran that little inside reverse to uh, Stales, uh, Phil Stiles, a little early, and he fumbled on it. He would have had a good game. So they've come back with it here in the third quarter, and they got another good game out of it. From the 32-yard line, making the 33 now they're spotting it. 33-yard line, first down for Bowie State. 28 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania. The Vulcans scoring two touchdowns in each quarter during the first half. Frazier with the pitch. Phil Dyer still on his feet out to midfield and running room down the near sideline to the 37-yard line and a first down for Bowie State. Bruce Miller on the hit for Cal, Pennsylvania. A 30-yard gain and a first down. Well, this is where most of that success has come on the option play, running the ball outside on the corner. Phil Dyer cuts back, makes an excellent run, as you can see in the pitch right in the right. An excellent block. Couldn't see exactly who it was, but that block sprung him for another 10 yards. Henry Frazier out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, leading uh, Bowie State here in the uh, second half. This pass is complete to Mo Banks, 35, and picked up and driven down at the 32-yard uh, line by Mike Gracian. Okay, who? Let's go, uh, let's go one, okay, 149 option load. Watch the court. Well, Gracian made a fantastic play. He played off Phil Dyer's blocker on that particular play and was still able to make the uh, play. They've, they've had success running the option. They had it a little earlier with number 32 down running it. Getting a good first down. So this is what they're running in running it this time. They're running the option again. I'm not sure with 34, 32, but they will run the option. Frazier, four or five for 65 yards here in the second half. After Clarence Boykins could complete only one pass during the first half. Penalty markers down, and everybody just sort of collapses right in the middle of the offensive line there. We can't tell who it was, but it looks like Boy's offensive right side move. Which is what it is. And once again, you know, they have a drive going. All right, let's stay with Tim. You watch there and you cut penalty. that end to outside linebacker. 149 option load. Joe, the penalty total up to 13 for Bowie State. Replay second down. Yards. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of yardage there. 18 penalties in the game, final minute of the third period. 28 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania. Ball spotted now at the 38-yard line. Second and 10. That was Tom Kowalski coming through the offensive line. <laughs> it's like he was the only guy in motion. Well, that's a good way to get five yards, huh? <laughs> Give it back, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right, indeed. Well, if you go, go in and hit the quarterback. Well, he didn't try to hit the quarterback that time. You hit him up on the head is what it is. Same thing! Well, they, uh, you know, they, he didn't try to hit him, but he did hit him, so they will give him a personal foul penalty. So, gee, I've always said if you're going to hit a guy, at least hit him if you're going to get penalized for it. <laughs> Why not take a shot, right? Yeah, this will get defense. you when you've got the penalty anyway, huh? First down and 10. So they moved the ball all the way to the 23-yard line. Close to the deepest penetration of the day for Bowie State. They were once at the 18-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. First and ten, and Frazier 
with the option on the run to the 20 and down to the 15 yard line and again now they are now to the deepest okay. part of california pennsylvania territory mark okay. on the tackle all right all right just gonna run out just gonna run out it's gonna be into the third quarter walk with him walk henry with him Good job. That's the end of the third quarter in the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic with Cal Pennsylvania leading Bowie State 28 to nothing. Between working and taking care of a family, my wife Pat has enough in her mind without having to worry about our car. So every 3,000 miles without an appointment, I go to the JT and the Jiffy Lube. They change the oil with a major brand, replace the filter, and fill all the important fluid. 14 quality services in 10 minutes to keep your car running right. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. We'll take care of you like family. Come on, Patty, the courts are waiting. Jiffy Lube. Uh-huh, yes, yes, Mrs. Ferber, I'll be right over. What's up? It's Alex. He's what? been burying things in Mrs. Ferber's garden again. Right here. Mm-hmm. Alex, a bottle of Stroh's. Keep digging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, Alex. 15 pack. Keep oh. digging. With Stroh's and Stroh Light 15 and 30 packs, you get more beer. How did he get a whole truck down there? Why don't we ask the driver? <laughs> if you could add for Toyota quality and get a truckload of free options, free chrome bumpers, style steel wheels, sports striping, full in 12 bench seats, all free. $555 worth of free options. The new limited edition Toyota trucks. Buy Toyota quality first. The money you save is yours to play with. Now who's looking out for number one? Toyota. Happy birthday, honey. What is it? It's a bullfrog laugh. <laughs> Different. <laughs> I'd rather have just cash. I bought you a housewarming gift, isn't it beautiful? Oh, thanks, Mom. We love it. I'd rather have just cash. And now, let's see what he's won. Wow. Now get what you've always wanted, just cash. In the Maryland State Lottery's new instant game. I would have rather had just cash. I'm Duke. This is my car. These are my people. This is my cookie. And this is my oil filter. Purolated. Why purolated? Because they invented the oil filter. So they know how to make them right. And my people can learn from my noble example. Cookie, she don't care. She goes with me because I'm a legend. But you got your pure oil now. You got your pure oil later. Pure later oil filters. Oh, good to see you. My name is Jacques, and welcome to Shea McDonald's. Oh, please sit down. Thank you. Oh, no, no, thank you too, too much. Or might I suggest one of three special salads? With iceberg lettuce and tasty <laughs> things to make your mouth incredibly happy. How about chef salad? An excellent choice. Thank you. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Have a nice time. It's a good time for the great taste. I think we really impressed them. Of McDonald's. The Van Patten family loves their cars. And they trust us to take care of them. Every 3,000 miles, we bring them to Jiffy Lube. They change the oil with a major brand, replace the filter, lube the chassis, fill the important fluids. Check the air filter and wiper blades. Inflate the tires. Vacuum the interior. And wash the windows. 14 quality services in 10 minutes. I was no appointment. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. We'll take care of you like family. Welcome back to Baltimore's Memorial Stadium, the scene of the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic, where California, Pennsylvania, leading Bowie State 28 to nothing. A special thank you as we get ready to start the uh, fourth quarter. Home Team Sports and Jiffy Lube would like to thank the following sponsors for their support. Cherison Lehman Brothers, Stewart Petroleum, First National Bank of Maryland, Pure Later, Anko Wiper Blades, and McDonald's. Thank you, everyone, for helping us with the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic. 28 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania, leading Bowie State. All the scoring in the first half. Sam Mannery, an 18-yard touchdown run. The quarterback put uh, 
Cal Pennsylvania on the scoreboard first. Jim Cassandra with a one-yard run, 14 to nothing after one period of play. Then in the second quarter, Sean Densmore with a four-yard run and Eddie Egerton with an 18-yard run, 28 to nothing Cal Pennsylvania. After a scoreless third quarter, we're ready to start the fourth. Second and three from the 16-yard line, and Henry Frazier doing a fairly decent job here at quarterback, and the uh, handoff goes to Tim Stiles, and Stiles still on his feet to the 11-yard line. And that's a first down. Actually, they're going to mark the ball down to 14. They say he walked to the 11 after <laughs> coming with his knee down at about the 11. Well, I think the problem with that is the fact that Styles is so low to the ground, they think he's on the ground all the time anyway, so they've been giving him bad marks all day. They're going to bring the chains in, Joe, to see if this is a first down. Boys. State held the ball for over nine minutes in the third quarter, had six first downs, and didn't score a point. Well, they've moved the ball in spurts at particular times, and they, they've shown that they can do it, and they can do it on the ground by running wide. But the thing that have stopped Boy State are the penalties and the little turnovers, the fumble. Third and one from the 14th. Frazier impress you here? Yes. Oh, yes. He's come in, and the fact that they hadn't been able to throw the football earlier, he's shown that he can throw the football. He's throwing the football on a due rest and strain at time, and he's moving the football down the field. Mo Banks split wide to the far side. Tim Stiles in the slot to the far side of the field. Miles Gray also in there, along with uh, John Nabinet. We have not seen much of Tony Atwater here in the second half. In fact, I don't think he's been in the game. Henry Frazier has him down and set on a third and one. 13-yard line of Cal Pennsylvania. The pitch to Styles trying to get outside. Kenny, no, loses yardage. Coming up to make the hit was number nine, Bruce Miller of the Vulcans. Yeah. No, it'll be fourth on, and four. All right, let's go uh, Dyer. Come on, you got to get it now. Let's go 332 power. Come on, man. Got to get three yards, Phil. Well, well, it's 32 power, and he won't die to get the first down. We do know that. It'll be interesting to see, you know, uh, if he can, with his offensive line not being able to do too well as far as controlling Cal's uh, defensive line, you know, around the tackle. So this will be interesting. Out of the eye formation. Straight ahead, Phil Dyer, and Dyer gets down to the 10-yard line and gets the uh, first down. Okay. Bruce Miller on the hit. Right, first down and let's goal go now for Bowie State. Power. Yeah. 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 Well, he told him he had to get it, Tom, and that's exactly what he did. He did Panic that basically on his own. So, Bowie State with its deepest penetration of the day. They're all the way down to the 10-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. Trailing 28 to nothing with 13 and a half minutes left to play in this game. Bowie State with a football and has yet to score in the game. Penalty markers again. Boy, these guys like to jump. That's been their problem right there. They make a big play, get a first down. They're in uh, four-down territory, uh, first and goal. Now they'll be Let's first go, uh, and 15. Okay, look. Well, Let's go uh, five tight. Five, you go Both tight off. Five, tight. five on. 11 sprint out. Okay. 14 penalties, 120 yards that time with two mics, one on the official and one on Dave Dolch. We had simulcast <laughs> interviews. <laughs> We're actually simulcast talking. Well, we'll make sure things stay exciting, Tom. That's for sure. But what they're going to do, they're going to bring everybody in tight. They're going to sprint Frazier out, give them the opportunity to throw a run with the football and see what they can do by running the end. Nabonet in the backfield, the lone setback behind Henry Frazier. First and goal, Frazier on the roll. For the end zone. Intended for number two, Tony Harrison, second and goal. Well, he did the best and most intelligent thing there. Instead of losing yardage, he threw the ball at least where his receiver could catch it. If not, it'd be incomplete and out okay. of bounds. Let's go, uh, let's go 138 counter crisscross. Good try, Tony. Joe, how important is it for uh, a college football team to have the plays call for them? Is it better to have them sent in from the bench or is it better to let the quarterback do it? Well, it all depends. Uh, you know, it all depends on really your quarterback. He has a young quarterback here. 
and things aren't going real well. So I think it's good for him to call them. But there are some instances where you have a pretty mature quarterback who's been around a while, and he can do it. But I think he's doing the right thing here. Second and goal from the 15-yard line. That's uh, Miles Gray, close to the 11. Feels when it's just this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go. Reggie, Reggie, I want tight 121 waggle solid right end drag on. Now, I'll tell you what, that was a mouthful. I know there's no way in the world for me to remember that by the time, you know, I would get in the huddle to call that play. So this is going to be interesting here <laughs> to see if they even call the right play. <laughs> Third and goal, ball at the 13-yard line of Cal, Pennsylvania. Bowie State driving, hoping to score its first touchdown of the day. They're trailing 28 to nothing with 12 minutes left. Frazier looping for the end zone, and it's intercepted by Cal, Pennsylvania. 21 pulled it down. That's Mark Martin of Cal, Pennsylvania. Another turnover. And California, Pennsylvania will have possession at their 20 for the first down and a 28 to nothing lead with just under 12 minutes to go. Well, that's really unfortunate for Frazier. He, he had the man open. He just threw it a little short on this particular play. And that happens normally when you're pressing a little bit and you're trying to get something done. And I think he was just trying to throw it and catch it to himself. You know, and, and it's just tough. Really tough play there. Sam Mannery in at quarterback for Cal, Pennsylvania. He has a 28 to nothing lead, wants to pass on first down, and down the middle, it's complete to the tight end, Terry O'Shea, to the 25-yard line where Joe Green, number 40, makes the hit. That time they didn't have anybody behind the quarterback, so of course you knew they were going to pass it, which was really interesting at this point with the 28, you know, with a 28-point lead, but this is their offense throwing the football, so why should they change now? California, Pennsylvania has intercepted the ball three times today. On second and four, Mannery throwing deep, incomplete intended for Brian Greer. Just a little bit too long. That's ridiculous. We're not concentrating out there. We're stopping ourselves. We're not carrying out a fake. And we're jumping offside. Let's get our concentration in the game. We go back, let's go on one. Come on, get our concentration in here. You scared me. <laughs> Well, you don't have to worry about me jumping outside, that's for sure, Tom. Mannery, 9 of 24. He has an 18-yard touchdown run for the first score. Complete penalty marker down. Well, if that's pass in and finish, that's an automatic first down, so that will definitely keep the drive going. Does a good job of throwing the football on the run on that particular play. I don't really think that's a uh, pass interference call, but the, but the receiver caught it anyway, so we'll see what the ref comes up with. Fifteen penalties. Pass interference on the defense is declined. And it's a first out. Well, that's a smart move. It helps the guy keep the stats up. If they'd taken a pass interference, they would have wiped out the uh, the catch. You know? And I tell you what, as a player, that's one thing you always want to do is keep your stats up. And your yard, if you may need that a little down the road. So, good play. Sam Mattery with a touchdown run of 18 yards. Jim Cassandro along with Sean Densmore and Eddie Egerton also scoring today for Cal, Pennsylvania. They have a 28 to nothing lead, 10.50 to go in the fourth quarter. And Mattery throwing, and it's complete at the 42-yard line to Brian Greer. First down, Rodney Belfield on the hit. Well, I tell you, you can't throw the ball any better than Mattery threw at that particular time. Uh, the receiver was covered real well. Uh, Greer was covered real well that particular time. And the only place he could throw that for it to be called was in that particular spot. They're saying it's a yard short of a first down, so it's second and one from the 41. Mannery rolls with pressure. Pass 
incomplete intended for Sean Densmore. Lamont Tucker on the coverage for Bowie State. You'd have to say he probably hit him in the wrong spot that time, Tom, the hands. <laughs> <laughs> Happens often, doesn't it? Yes, sir. I've missed quite a few that were in the wrong spot, right in the middle of the hands. Sometimes those can be the toughest passes to catch. You feel you have them. You don't concentrate on catching the football, and before you know it, you, uh, you've dropped it in, a in front of a million people. Is it more that you're anticipating the hit than you are concentrating on the football? You figure you're going to get hit as soon as you catch it? Well, you don't really want to say that, but that is the case. <laughs> <laughs> Mattery across midfield to the 46-yard line of Bowie State and a first down. On a quarterback sneak. 12-yard run for Sam Mattery. Simple quarterback sneak. He finds it open. He's a good run. He makes, a guy, makes two guys miss him. And G gets a good game. 46-yard line of Bowie State, the line of scrimmage now. Cal, Pennsylvania, 28, Bowie State, nothing. First annual Jiffy Lube Classic, fourth quarter with 9.45 left to play in this game. All the scoring in the uh, first half. Mannery, the looper, overthrown, intended for... Brian Greer, coverage Guys by Anthony that are waiting Johnson. Back up. I have to tell uh, Dave uh, Dolch that uh, he's got to wait a few seconds till we finish the play before he starts talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to tell Coach Dolch anything right now, though. It looks like he's had it. Well, I can understand that. He isn't pleased with the way his ball team is playing. They've made a lot of mistakes, and, you know, he, He's, 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 a well, he's a disciplinarian. He's, uh, he believes in, you know, playing good football and not making turnovers and stupid mistakes, and that's what his ball team has done today. Brian Greer wide to the far side. More contact. And as I said earlier, you know, he, he coaches his players not to make stupid mistakes, and, and that was definitely one of them. And what does he do? He immediately sends someone else in to get him out of there to talk to him a little bit. I tell you one thing, you know, Tom, it's really, you know, it's a little real for me to sit up here and watch Sandra Shivers coach the linebackers because, you know, playing with him and all of a sudden one of his linebackers jump off sides and he substituted him. And it's just, just one of those weird things, especially with him all having to be in that situation at one time when he was playing. Mannery, 40, 34 yard long. Gain of six, first down. Robert Anderson on the tackle. Well, Dinshaw made another excellent block on that particular play. Each and every time he's had to lead for Mannery, he's made great blocks. He's level defensive end, so not only is he a good, you know, steady football player, good ball carry, he can block also. You're watching the uh, first annual Jiffy Lube Classic, Bowie State against Cal, Pennsylvania. Cal, Pennsylvania located about 40 miles west of Pittsburgh. They're leading Bowie State 28 to nothing with nine minutes left to play in this game. Mannery on first down with a quick pop pass down the middle. Complete to Terry O'Shea. Rodney Belfield made the immediate hit. Rodney's got to tighten up on that, Coach. How can he tighten up that much more on a quick popper? <laughs> well, what he wants him to do is line up right over him. If he's lined up over him, he should probably block him or, or bump him before he comes off the line of scrimmage. And that's what he wants his uh, linebacker to do on that particular situation. Eddie Alford, number one wide to the far side of the field. 20, Kurt K on field for the first time today, along with Brian Greer split to the near side. And again, down the middle to Terry O'Shea. O'Shea down to the 20-yard line. That's a first down for Cal Pennsylvania as Joe Green wraps up O'Shea. But O'Shea looks like he's a tough guy to bring down. Well, he's a big guy. And what and what Cal Pennsylvania's doing right now, they're spreading all their receivers out wide, and they aren't putting anybody behind the quarterback. And now, therefore, they're getting single coverage on everyone. So there's no help on Alfred or Grace Shaw or anyone. Everybody is man for man. All the scoring in the first half, 28 points for Cal Pennsylvania. O'Shea has four catches, 36 yards. Mannery passing too high that time. 
and again, Terry O'Shea, the tight end, was wide open again. Let's go, let's go. They aren't, the the uh, linebackers are playing as maybe a couple of yards off of him, giving him a chance to come off the line of scrimmage, and they shouldn't do that. Not on the tight end now. And that's what he's Watch hollering out there now, hollering to him to make sure he's tight on the tight end. Instead, he's playing a couple of yards off, giving him a lot of room to work. Ken Poling and Jim Cassandro check into the backfield for Cal Pennsylvania. Ed Alford wide to the far side of the out there after another nice catch by Ed Alford, who's had a very productive day today for Cal Pennsylvania. Well, I'll tell you, there's one thing you can see right away that Mannery and Alford work a great deal after practice. You know, everything is right on the money. Mannery is throwing the ball in the right spot each and every time. And there's a guy out there that can cover Alfred 101. At least not today, anyway. Alfred, five catches for 121 yards. Touchdown for Cal, Pennsylvania. Mannery with a, just a dive forward. His second touchdown, he had one of 18 yards earlier today, the first score. So it's 34 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania, with 7.46 left to play in this game. And once again, the point after attempt will be coming right, momentarily. Let's go, forward, let's go. Well, I tell you what, our cameraman down there is a pretty brave guy, especially after a play like that, and then puts the camera right on the coast. Well, this is just a simple quarterback sneak. You know, you, when you're down on the one-foot yard line, that's the safest thing to do. Point attempt, no good. 34 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania. Mannery with a one-yard dive. His second TD and a 34 to nothing lead for Cal, Pennsylvania. It's a long haul back for, for Boys State at this particular point, especially with them not being a, a passing football team. But the only way for them to get back in the uh, game at this particular point and put points on the board with 7.46 left in the game is to throw the football. Cal, Pennsylvania trying for its sixth win this year. That would put them over the 500 mark. They came into the game at 5-5. Five and five. And they're looking for their fourth winning season in the last five years. They just capped a 78-yard, 10-play drive that took two minutes and 51 seconds with uh, Sam Mannery scoring from a yard out. Kurt Bergman again to a kickoff for Cal, Pennsylvania. And Bowie State's Anthony Johnson ready to return it at the five-yard line. Seven forty-six left to play in this one. Thirty-four to nothing. California, Pennsylvania, leading Bowie State in the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic. Johnson with the football and Anthony to the twenty-six, still on his feet, trying to run outside to the thirty. Cuts back to the thirty-five-yard line, and Bowie State has the ball first down after a sixteen-yard return. Lance Connor with the tackle. <laughs> Kind of interesting also, Joe, that all the uh, touchdown scoring by Cal, Pennsylvania, has been on the ground. Mannery with an 18-yard run, also a one-yard TD. Eddie Egerton, Sean Densmore, and Jim Cassandra also have scored. That is true, but each and every one of those touchdowns have been set up by the passing play, play, though. Bowie State with the football from the 34-yard line, first and 10. Quarterback in the game again, Clarence Boykins back in now for Bowie State. The pass was complete to 82 Antonio Foster and uh, Harry Bell on the tackle. 15 yard gain. Uh, first Reggie down. in the game. Hey. 46 Reggie House comes on field as 82 Antonio Foster comes to the sideline and Clarence Boykins back in at quarterback for Henry Frazier who threw an interception on his last. Uh, Offensive chance. Trying to get outside, John Nabinet. Good night. Lost yardage on that play. Odell Jones on the tackle. I've always thought that um, the offense and defensive lines are the heart of all football teams. And I tell you, this is really, really, you know, if you really look at it, the difference in this football game has been the fact that 
Cal Pennsylvania's uh, defensive line has really uh, controlled Bush State's offensive line because they hadn't been able to run between the tackles at all. Can't together. move those guys inside. Mo Banks wide to the far side. Boy, they would love to get something on the scoreboard. Tony Harrison wide to the near side. And Boykin sets in his pocket, throws down the middle of the field, and three California Pennsylvania defenders around the football. Apparently, Mo Banks did he not take the inward cut. There's nobody here. Oh, Joe double Waskowitz fly, closest to the football. Cross. Well, they were a little mixed up on their signals that particular time. Uh, Boykin threw the ball in the air where he was expecting the receiver to be. And the receiver curled up in the area expecting where Boy, Boy should have thrown the football he thought. Less than 6.30 to go in this one. 34 to nothing, California, Pennsylvania. The uh, Vulcans leading Bowie State, the Bulldogs from uh, the general Baltimore area. Boykin gets wrapped up at the 39-yard line. It's going to be a loss of 11 on the play. Odell Jones and John Wybernowski there to sack the quarterback. Well, Boykin really hadn't had a good day. He's only, what, two for 18 for 28 yards and two interceptions. Uh, I tell you, he'd like to have quite a few of those back, and now they're putting pressure on him, and he has nowhere to run here. Nowhere to run. Pass. The second time today that... Boy State's Anthony Johnson has tried to do something in a punting situation has been unable to accomplish the uh, feat. So it's going to be Cal Pennsylvania's football inside uh, Boy State territory at the 42-yard line. Field position's been a factor in the early scoring for Cal Pennsylvania. That is true, but Cal Pennsylvania is in the driver's seat now. They can basically do anything they want to. So I don't care where they probably start now. They probably move the football a little bit. Change at quarterback. Now Chris Heater in there for Cal Pennsylvania. Gain a two on the play. It'll bring up a second and eight. Jim Werke makes the, makes the hit for Bowie State. You'd like to see a more competitive football game, and whether it's high school, college, or professional. And today, really, the early going, the mistakes by Bowie State hurt them, and they got down quickly 14 to nothing, and it's been all Cal Pennsylvania since then. Well, that's really been the case, Tom. I don't think, you know, uh, Cal Pennsylvania is so overly matched uh, against uh, Bowie State that, you know, it's warranted a, uh, what, a 34-point deficit. I think it's just a mere fact that they've had some some miscues that you shouldn't have. No Harrison. And I don't no think it's Harrison. any uh, indication no, of a talent. No, no. Regular row, regular row, second half. Okay, you're in it left half, okay? Fumble and a recovery by Bowie State. There was a penalty marker okay. down on the field also the around the 43. Right. Tell the left half he's out. They put the hanky back in. But it looks as if the quarterback didn't want it, and it looks as if the back key sure didn't want it. So I guess Bush, they wanted it on that play. Now they've got it on their 44-yard line. 5-10 to go, 34 to nothing. Cal Pennsylvania has the uh, lead. They're in the driver's seat to their sixth win, their final game of the season. Looks like an option play could be developing. It did not. Noel Harrison on the sweep. Harrison takes the football all the way down in front of the Bowie State bench at about the 43-yard line where Jody Conti made the hit. 13-yard gain and a first down for Bowie State. Stay in there, Noel. Stay in there. Well, that was a, that was a no uh, pass option, you know, pass option run the football on that particular play. Maybe you should run it again. He got 13 yards on it. Got out of bounds. Let's run it again. Wide to the left, Tony Harrison. John Nabinet in the backfield, along with Noel Harrison. The pitch goes to Harrison. 40, out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Gain of three, second and seven. Coming up for Cal Pennsylvania, Harry Bell to make the tackle. Well, one good thing about this, Noel Harrison is just a freshman. He gives him a chance, you know, get some playing time in. And he seems to have real good speed. Plus, he has the threat of being able to throw the football. 
First annual Jiffy Lube Classic between uh, Cal Pennsylvania and Bowie State. Cal Pennsylvania dominating 34 to nothing with 4.57 left to play in this game. On a second down and seven timeout for Bowie State. I want to take a moment to uh, thank and congratulate Lou Grasnick for doing a, a very looking good forward. job. The chairman of the Special Events Committee of the Park Board. He has set up games yeah. here at Baltimore's Memorial Stadium that have included Army, Navy, Maryland, and uh, Penn State, and of course this one. And uh, Lou, very good job. Right, right. Reverse, no good. Okay. The option is, is still there, man. We got plenty of time. Let's go. Hey, let's get off the ball, doggies, guys. Now let's go. Let's go right formation. Okay. Let's go seven forty nine option load okay 749 option load all right blow them off the ball come on let's go on one Gotta get the end. just mentioned lou grasmick's name and this is lou grasmick and lou i know you take a great deal of pride putting on football games here in baltimore you think uh we're going to see some professional football coming back into this park for a while well i think we have a real good uh possibility of attracting a team to baltimore i really do uh the stakes are going to be very high there's no question about it and uh, I think, quite frankly, that you have to find a way to gross $10 million a year uh, through the turnstiles. If you can't gross that figure, I don't think you can play in this league anymore. Frazier on the pitch there to a 32 Phil Dyer, and Dyer knocked down at around the 37-yard uh, line, so it's a gain of two, bringing up 35. Uh, Lou, when you talk about uh, generating $10 million, would the city or the state be willing to guarantee the differences versus ticket sales? Well, I think you have to do that. But if, uh, for example, if the Cardinals came to Baltimore, uh, I think you have an automatic uh, four sellouts. Uh, the Cowboys and the Eagles and Washington and New York, I think that's uh, four sellouts. After that, you have to go to work. And I think with Governor Schaefer and, and some of the people that are involved, this can happen. I don't think there's any question about it. Do you think Baltimore has uh, soured at all in the National Football League, knowing that the Colts uh, left in the heat of the night? Uh, Tom, I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, you would be surprised. Last week when Penn State was here and I had an opportunity to talk to a good many of the fans, a lot of them want more college football. And there is, uh, there has been some souring, no question about it. Lou, what about the, the, the downtown football stadium? How fast could it be built if the Cardinals do come? I was sitting here today thinking about that. In, in my judgment, I think you have to play three seasons here. Of course, the National Football League sort of made it known they don't like this football park, but I think uh, they wouldn't mind it for three more seasons if they know they were going into a bright new stadium downtown. Oh, I think that's true. and. Uh, there isn't anything wrong with playing here for three seasons, knowing that you could go downtown to a modern facility, one that would have the support and leadership uh, behind it of the entire community. I also think that the ingress and egress to the uh, Camden area is such that, that it's a big, big plus. Frazier's pass there was intended for 23. Tim Stiles incomplete. Joe Waskowitz was on the coverage and uh, will change possession here once again. No, in regards to the uh, fact that the Orioles are obviously going to get a, a, a stadium downtown once a lease is completely negotiated, what do you know about the negotiations? It seems like it's taking a, a long time to negotiate an Oriole lease for the downtown stadium. Well, I think so, too, but I, I, I suppose that the Orioles are waiting to see uh, what the football team gets, and uh, what, every one, what one gets, the other's going to want. There's no question about that. Well, in other words, uh, you think that's one of the reasons why Edward Bennett Williams made some comments this week about wanting to get Bidwell into Baltimore? In other words, use him as a wedge to get more? Well, I think that uh, if I owned a, a baseball team, I would certainly welcome uh, having uh, major league franchises here that would give you activity throughout the year. But I think that also is a bargaining tool. Never even thought about that. That's a good point. Jim Cassandro there on the uh, coverage of the football and all the way into the 45-yard uh, line. 19-yard gain for Cassandro, who scored a touchdown earlier in this game for uh, Cal Pennsylvania. They're leading 34 to nothing with 345 to play in this game. First annual Jiffy Lube Classic. And uh, Bowie State's obviously going to be in this in the future. Will the opponent be the same every year? I don't think so. I think we're probably whetting the appetite for some other... Uh, local college, possibly uh, Towson or Morgan. Uh, getting back to what I was talking about with uh, regard to both the baseball and football franchise, I don't mean to demean anyone by uh, pointing this point out, but if you recall, there was uh, no question but what the Colts wanted everything the Orioles had, 
and more and vice versa so i think uh i think it is uh, probably a bargaining tool for the baseball team to wait and see what the football team gets what happens if beyond this year if st louis goes to phoenix then it works a little faster for the baseball team well sure but uh you know somewhere down the line i'm positive we're going to get professional football again whether it uh, would be an ex uh, expansion team or uh, another team moving here, I can't possibly say, but but I'm positive that we're going to get a franchise. Dance more on the uh, carry there and Robert Anderson on the uh, tackle. 321 left to play in this game. Cal Pennsylvania leading Bowie State 34 to nothing. Tom Davis together with Joe Washington and joined by Lou Grasmick, the chairman of the special events committee of the park board who has helped arrange Navy Notre Dame. Of course, they're gonna come back here Maryland, Penn State, and uh, now the Jiffy Lube Classic, and I guess these games will eventually go downtown. Well, I'm sure they will, and uh, we've also made several other proposals. I would like to think that we would have a Governor's Bowl game, and that game could be an annual game between Maryland and, and uh, the Naval Academy. And I also think, Tom, if I may, that the uh, NAACP, now that their headquarters are in Baltimore, wouldn't this be an ideal place to have... Uh, uh, an NAACP college bowl. Lou, I noticed uh, the other day that uh, uh, Pitt and Maryland are closing out their uh, arrangement in games in the future. Could that leave a spot for Maryland and Navy? Well, it could, but uh, that hasn't been resolved yet. I can, I'll just say that we're halfway there. One of the athletic directors has said, let's do it. And we're trying to encourage the other, other gentlemen to see it that way. Uh, what I really believe uh, is that that team would be another million dollar gross uh, here at Memorial Stadium. John, I know you wanted to ask a question. Yeah, Lou, I wanted to ask you, who's else, who's else in uh, competition with Baltimore trying to get uh, St. Louis in their home state? Well, they're being romanced, of course, by Memphis and Jacksonville and Phoenix. And, mm -hmm. and this, this is tough competition. I was just telling Tom before, if you're not willing to, to uh, agree to... Uh, a $10 million uh, turnstile count for the season. You, you can't play in this league any longer. Yeah, and I can understand, you know, with them never having a professional football team, they would definitely, you know, want one and put out old stops to try and get one. Uh, but you still think Baltimore has just as good a chance as these Sunbelt teams, all right? Uh, I, I said to Tom a moment ago, I feel certain that we're going to get a franchise here, whether it's uh, the Cardinals or whether we have to wait for for an expansion team that's something i really don't know but i'm positive that we're going to get especially the leadership of governor schaefer you're going to get a franchise and to me the national football league is a is another industry that's an industry that this city needs to remain a big league city well i know i always enjoyed playing here in baltimore when i was with the coach and with the washington Redskins. it's definitely a football town and i guarantee you know any team that comes in here they'll they enjoy Baltimore, too. Well, Joe, let me just say that the fans of this city enjoyed you, too. <laughs> well, thank you. Lou, we want to take this opportunity to thank you for coming by here to the home team sports booth. And uh, you know, thanks for putting on the game. It's been a real pleasure to watch it and uh, do it here on home team sports. 34 to nothing, Cal, Pennsylvania, leading Bowie State with 229 left to play. And this is the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic. This is uh, Sean Dunsmore trying to get the ball out of the backfield and get stopped at the 25-yard line, shy of the uh, line of scrimmage there. So he loses a yard. It'll bring up third and 21. Again, thanks, Lou. Okay, and thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Two minutes, three seconds left to play to come down to the two-minute mark in less than two now. Cal, Pennsylvania, having it all wrapped up 34 to nothing in the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic. Shade now covering the entire park here in Baltimore, and it's getting a little cooler than it was at game time. Right. Turn right. The punting situation now for Cal, Pennsylvania. Well, this is one of the few times they've had to punt the football today. So, at least get, get everybody in the football game, give them a chance to do a few things, and make sure we don't stop the clock. I, I know that's what Boy State's football team is saying. Don Janey and Tim Stiles deep, waiting this high punt. Johnny makes the catch at the 42-yard uh, line, so Bowie State will get one more crack to try to score with a okay, minute. Henry, run let's go uh, quick screen, okay? Let's go um, uh, 5-19, quick screen, okay? You want two players? 
Uh, yeah, give him 519 quick screen, then double fly, double cross. Quickly. 33 yards. Two punch. timeouts. Is that right or two left? I don't know. You have to Okay. Yeah, quick. Mo Banks wide to the far side of the field. Number two, Tony Harrison wide to the near side. Henry Frazier back in there at quarterback. Frazier hitting Tony Harrison. And he gets out to the 44-yard line for a gain of one. Second and nine, less than a minute to go. Harry Bell on the tackle. Well, all things up for... Uh Bush State to do now is throw the football and try to get something on the scoreboard, Tom. Frazier with a deep toss. Incomplete intended for Tony Harrison. Mike Gresham covering Harrison. 54 fullback draw. Okay, 554 fullback draw. Yeah. 39 seconds left to play. 34 nothing. Cal, Pennsylvania leading Boise State. Well, not particularly a real good day for Boise State as far as playing and mistakes and the scoreboard, but I was really impressed with their talent. They have a good football team. You know, a few miscues here and that could have really, you know, made this a different football game. But they've got a real good football team, and I think a good program that's on its way up. Nevinette with the uh, carry out to the 45-yard uh, line for the gain of one. You know, the one thing, Joe, that really hurt, the penalties and also the uh, punting and field position. Those three things really stand out for Bowie State. Well, you, well, you know, they had a few fumbles, too, and that's one thing you can always and, and count sure on having for the most part. But, now. We're sprint out you know, when left. you have uh, okay. uh, uh, breakdowns in your punting right. game where you don't really okay. get a chance to get the Let's ball off on, on three or four okay. different occasions, uh, and then the penalties, so, that's something uh, you, you got, can uh, work on. You can sort of alleviate those. And, and believe me, if they alleviate half of those, that'll make them a better football team immediately. Three punts. One of fake, two out. bad okay. punts. One that was blocked, set up three touchdowns for Cal, Pennsylvania. They have the 34 to nothing lead. Final minute of play of this one in the first annual Jiffy Lube Classic. We miss Jim Hindman, uh, chairman of Jiffy Loop, uh, who also donates his time, you know, with the uh, Bowie State football team. One-time coach out in Western Maryland, a great guy. Had a chance to talk to him on several occasions. Met him out once while he was at Western Maryland, and you can't say enough good things about him. Very successful businessman as Frazier throws and completes it to Moore Banks. Banks crosses the 45 to the 46-yard line. Penalty marker down. Tom Kowalski with the uh, tackle. Frazier, 6 of 11 for 69 yards here in the second half. 24 seconds left to play. Frazier with a sprint out. Mo makes a good move. Oh, he gets number 42 for hitting after the whistle, and plus he hit the guy a little high above the shoulder, so I'm sure that's on Bowie. Personal foul. We had a dead ball. Personal foul on the defense. They fail to make the line to gain, and it's going to be turned over. You fail to make the line to gain on a fourth down play. 18 penalties for 155 yards for Bowie State. Well, that's, that's unbelievable. <laughs> what looks like they're getting out the uh, Kool-Aid. Well, we know they aren't going to dump the coach today with the uh, <laughs> with the Gatorade. That's why they're taking it away. Maybe they're going to drown some of the players. <laughs> oh, no, they're taking it over to the other side. That's what they do. <laughs> Well, the clock moving out with less than 20 seconds to go. That could be the last play. Well, history has been made, Tom, that's for sure. Ten years from now, we'll be looking back at this uh, Jiffy Lube Classic, the first annual, and say, remember when Bowie State was shut out 34 to 0? 
Yes, sir. But it was still a good football game. A great thing for Boy State. And hopefully, you know, we'll be back again next year. Oh. Listen, one more time to Dave Dole. Good game, Coach. All right, got a good program. Good game, Coach. Did a good job. Got a good program. Good job. That's a nice job. That's Alfred's great player. Great kid. Mannery, just a freshman, red shirt freshman, Coach. Regular freshman. You have a great year. Good luck, Coach. Pennsylvania beating Bowie State. As president of Bowie State, appointed a white man to a historically black school in a job that has been historically, quote, a black man's job, caused me to believe that you can't let that kind of pioneerism die. It required financial support, and it required from me a commitment of time so that I could be part of that role model of success that I think is important to these young black athletes. A fast-moving family like ours has a lot of cars. And we could spend a fortune taking care of them. Instead, we go to Jiffy Loop every 3,000 miles. In 10 minutes with no appointment, the J-Team changes the oil with a major brand, replaces the filter, lubes the chassis, fills the important fluids. 14 quality services for one low price. No matter what kind of car you drive. Welcome to Jiffy Loop. We'll take care of you like family. See you in 3,000 miles. He goes out to Jeff Malone. Blocked by Irving. Moses Malone and the Bullets take on their division rivals, the Philadelphia 76ers, Wednesday, November 11th at 7.30, only on the home of the Bullets, home team sports. Welcome back to our Jiffy Lube Classic Preview. I'm Lee Felsmo, and we have another group of guests in the studio. We're jamming the studio today. Let's start on the far left, because this is the coach. We'd like to introduce you to Dave Dolch. Dave, this is your second year uh, yes. over at Bowie, and you have to be absolutely pleased with what you've done to that program. You've turned it around, not just winning a couple games for the first time in a few years,